Madison Sinclair is live at Hosp Grove Trail with more on the walk that is going on this morning. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, and as you can see, yeah, we are out here at Haas Grove Trail because, well, look at all these people who are showing up to finish Lisa's walk. You know, this uh, this memorial started on Nextdoor with the community coming together. Nextdoor is an app for neighborhoods to come together, for the community to come together to maybe have some recommendations, to reach out, and that's exactly what Lisa did here in Carlsbad. She reached out to find a hiking partner to come out here um, and hike, and, she, you know, on Monday she was unfortunately found dead on the trail, 68 years old, stabbed to get death here in Carlsbad. And I have some ladies joining us who are doing this trail, doing this walk, finish Lisa's walk here in Carlsbad. And I have uh, two ladies here, if you would like to step up and see, how did you come to find this out and, you know, being out here to support Lisa? Yes, you know, next door is really great for anything. And I saw this and I couldn't believe it because about two weeks ago, I saw her original post that she was looking for people to hike with, just friends, anybody in the community, and then come to find out, you know, you see this happening with her, and it's just such a tragedy that in our own backyard that this is happening. It really makes you think that you have to go with someone, you have to uh, hike with someone, and just watch your surroundings no matter where you are anywhere in Carlsbad. And when you saw her post, did you reach out to think maybe you wanted to be her hiking partner or not even there yet? You know, I work full time, so I wasn't able to um, do that, but I saw it and I thought that's such a great way, the next door, such a great way for people in the community that are alone, especially during this time, the COVID, where we have to social distance. It's such a great way where you can distance from someone yet be together and wear a mask and be safe great thing everyone mm -hmm. is coming out here look at this turnout there's a lot of people coming from the carlsbad community to support lisa forberg and you were talking to me earlier about you know you've lived in carlsbad for a while now for 20 years now and this is really surprising but i think part of the problem is we have a a, a rising um population of homeless people and it's really sad and uh, anyway we we heard about this also on next door and can you hear me with the mask? Yeah. Okay. Um, one thing, um, it would be nice if they put up security cameras that are solar powered maybe with and put signs up. I don't know. When I walk, if I'm by myself, I carry a golf club or I'll wear a whistle. But it's just, it's really sad that Carlsbad has to worry about this. But it is nice that we have next door that app that, you know, we can do. I mean, I've sold things on, on next door and I've seen people that want to do things, but. So. Something that you would never think about happening here in Carlsbad. No, never, no, no. And you've lived here for a while now. I mean, you get occasional people getting run, run over by a train. <laughs> Which no. happens in Carlsbad, yes, but nothing like this here before no. at Hosp Grove Trail. Everyone is here to support Lisa Thorberg to finish Lisa's walk starting at 10 a.m. So that's why everyone is starting to gather now. I did want to say that police have not released any new information about the circumstances surrounding Thorberg's death. Officers were in the area this week speaking with hikers and people experiencing homelessness. Uh, police confirmed they were still searching for people who may have been in the area, including a man identified by a citizen tip. He was described as a white or Hispanic adult, five foot ten, six or to six three, husky build, tan complexion with dark hair. He is wearing a black shirt and black shorts, possibly a black hat. The man is walking slowly with a slight shuffle or limp. It is unknown at this time if this person is related to the incident. Again, everyone is out here to support Lisa Thorberg, who was found dead here at Hospital Trail Monday. 68 years old. The support out here in Carlsbad, it just feels like a community family out here. The walk starts at 10 a.m., so just about time for everyone to get started to walk the trail here to finish Lisa's walk. We're going to have more coming up later on in this hour. Until then, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, Madison. Yeah, and it looks like there are a few dozen uh, people that have come out from the surrounding community. How absolutely tragic what happened to Lisa, and uh, we obviously, our thoughts and prayers are with her family. And again, police uh, do not have a suspect in custody. Thank you for that, Madison. We'll check out, uh, check back with you in uh, the next uh, 20, 30 minutes or so.
San Diego 